when you talk about people's own definitions of personal financial freedom, does that mean like, because some people think, okay, financial freedom, I never have to work again. Is that what you mean by that? For like from your perspective? Yeah, personally? And, uh-huh. yeah, I mean, by financial freedom, I mean that, and also retirement, I think in some ways that the terms can be used interchangeably because, you know, I talk about retire rich and by retire, it doesn't mean you have to stop active work. But it means if you choose to stop active work, you can. And a lot of people are financially free. And you see a lot of people talking about being financially free. And yet they're still working, doing some form of active work. But because they want to and because they choose to, not because they need to. So I think that's something really important about the definition. Because I hear some people say, well, they can't be financially free. They're still working. But, you know, for some people, a lot of their purpose is tied up with what they do. You see a lot of these billionaires. Warren Buffett, for example, you know, he's in his 90s and he's still at it. He definitely is financially free. I mean, he's worth billions, but he absolutely loves what he does. And and that's a great thing. So it could mean it could be like a dual thing where, you know, you have saved up enough money in which like if you were to get sacked the next day, it wouldn't impact you, you know, paying bills, paying mortgage, that kind of thing. Yeah, However, you you could also at that point, if you've saved up enough to you know like have that ability for the freedom and the the way in which you go about your life and want to go about your life, you can also do something else that you truly enjoy. Because we all have desires, we don't want to stay mm-hmm. idle. I think so. It kind of feeds more. And you're into- you're right, actually, because a lot of people that you know, particularly in the fire movement, you know, the financially independent retire early movement. A lot of them have kind of retired from traditional jobs, um, but they still do something they love. So they have a passion project, which they then try and monetize because why not? But I think the other thing about financial freedom, I think, is, you know, people sometimes say to me, how much money do I need to have to be financially free? Well, it's a very individual thing, isn't it? It depends how you want to live your life. If you're happy with living in a little cottage in the countryside and growing vegetables, then you need a lot less money than someone who wants to be going on international holidays all the time. So it's a very, very personal thing about what financial freedom means or, or what being rich means. So it, Yeah, do you think it has to do more with like, okay, my lifestyle is this, this is how much it would cost per month and then gauge it from yeah. there basically? Like the, look at yeah, it I mean, from that's more what I tell people to do. I mean, there's a rule of thumb, like how much money do you need to be financially free? And there's a rule of thumb which is 25 times your annual expenses. Um, If you're a little bit older, if you're doing it when you're a bit younger, you might want to look at 33 times your annual expenses. And that's based on the rule of the 4% rule, means that if you then withdraw four, you were investing that, and you take out 4% each year, um, which which is what it's based on, then that will give you enough to cover your annual expenses and enough until the end of your days. Mm